And then Lloyd Macedo Sweeney from LloydMacedo.com, who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding. Today, the date is March 4th, 2018. Time right now is 12.54 in the afternoon. All right, got this question. People send me questions to Lloyd, LloydMacedo.com. So I got this question from one of my readers. Lloyd, how do I improve my memory? Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure this uh, this is a question sent to me by a student. Um, now, here's my answer. Now, I'm not going to give you an answer like do this technique, do that technique. There are quite a number of techniques online, okay? Um, so, what I would suggest is, this is what I would recommend. Number one, the, the first most important thing in order to improve memory is, keep this in mind, memory is like a muscle, okay? Just as, for example, if I go to the gym and I try to do push-ups or you know, just try to do push-ups, I've never done push-ups, I would die out at three or five, the fifth rep, I would die out, okay? However, for someone who has been doing push-ups every single day, dedicate morning, afternoon, evening, maybe you can do up to, you know, I've seen people do up to 100 push-ups you know, effortlessly. Okay, so the first thing you need to keep in mind is memory is uh, memory is like a muscle. You need to exercise it every single day. So if you want to de develop your memory, you need to practice. There are a lot of techniques online like Harry Lorraine or whatever. There are so many techniques online. But the technique that I recommend where education is concerned for developing memory power is Richard Feynman. Richard Feynman's technique is what I feel is the best in the world where education learning is uh, concerned. Um, if you do not know what that is, um, you, you can check it on uh, YouTube, Richard Feynman's Techniques. But my understanding of what uh, Richard Feynman's Technique is, it's pretty simple. You read, uh, let's say you read a particular passage or you read a particular article. And uh, then what you do is you need to, whatever you learned, read or studied from this article, you should be able to share this information or article to a child who is, let's say, five-year-old a five-year-old child so how would you explain let's say for example you're talking of uh, leadership leadership um, let's say or management by objectives for example that is a term in management management by objectives or let's say Maslow's theory uh, Maslow's uh, theory hierarchical theory uh, or let's say you're talking of coding how would you explain this to a five-year-old child now obviously it would be very challenging you'd have to dumb it down but then what happens it forces your brain to rethink rethink how you would explain this terminology this concept and as you keep thinking, uh, trying to get creative, you would uh, form these neurons, this, this capacity of yours to explain it to a youngster, you don't forget. Well, one of the best things that I found out as being a trainer is when I learn a new concept and when I teach this concept to somebody else, it, it's, it's like studying it twice. So the Richard Feynman's technique is whereby you learn something and then you have to teach this technique to somebody who is younger than you. That will reinforce the learning habit. So it's, it's very simple. There are two, two things that I'd ask you to keep in mind. Number one is, remember, muscle is, uh, memory is like a muscle. You need to keep exercising. So the more you practice, the better you get. Like, for example, typing. Um, I keep practicing typing. You know, there are typing games, typing tutors. I keep practicing, you know, making sure that the keys are accurate. So, and I play games, so that helps me get better. You can try different, different techniques online from Harry Lorraine or memorizing cards or, you know, forming associations or names or visualizing what you're studying. Uh, there are different techniques that see which works your way and try the Richard Feynman's technique that really helps um, but keep this in mind the standard the industry standard is repetition the more you repeat the more you read loudly the more you focus into what you're doing uh, through your body through your imagination through you know every sight sound every possible way by writing it down that's how you improve and there is no shortcut to this like, for example, when I'm studying or when I'm doing something really important, my internet is not on, the mobile phone is not on, the notifications are not on, nobody's disturbing me, I'm locked in my room and I focus for three to five hours just studying, being focused, being totally absorbed into what I'm doing. And as you stay consistent and keep doing this over and over again, you become better and better. Remember, it's a muscle uh, and as you improve on it, it gets better. So this is how you improve your memory power and this is how you get better grades. Remember, it's practice make perfect. Practice makes perfect. So, live from LoyalMacedo.com, who's LoyalMacedo and 3-person branding, sharing with you his views on how you can improve your memory power. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and share your comments. Love to hear from you. This is LoyalMacedo saying goodbye for now. Take care.